History normally just doesn't walk in the door. We see a little bit of everything. Even when you specialize in the used, old, and obscure. This was really overwhelming, but this is a slice of history, basically. Steve Leach and Dallas-based Half Price Books thought they were simply buying a box of old papers. It took just a name and a date to change that. Some of them are dated August 1st, 1966. When people flip through these items, it never fails to kind of take them back to this really strange, different event. This is a warning to the citizens of Austin. Stay away from the university area. There is a sniper on the university tower firing at will. So Even if no one really here. wants to go back there. You can't shake that image because it was so unexpected, so shocking. To on that people. first day of August 1966, 25-year-old Charles Whitman barricaded himself on top of the UT clock tower with an arsenal of guns. For 96 minutes, he terrorized Austin, a sniper on a high perch shooting 45 people, killing 14. Whitman was finally stopped when two officers stormed the tower and gunned him down. I was at UT about 10 years after this happened, and it was still something everybody talked about. Leach is talking about it now because of the papers, sold to half price books by a relative of the former UT security chief. This is a uh, something written up by a couple of the UT security officers who were the first to get up to the tower. The documents include original handwritten accounts and copies of Whitman's death letters, all of which half price books will give to the university next week. Yet the unexpected visit with history will stay with Stephen Leach. Scott Sayers, Fox 7 News.